What is going on everyone? My name's Boyd and I'm back with some more Age of Mythology, the Titans action spawning in the blue color playing as Ra. His name is Mosca and in the red color playing as Uranus, his name is Scardi. We've got ourselves Mediterranean for game number four. This is Scardi's home map, so to speak. Obviously, this is a random map tournament semifinals. Winners semifinals of the Brazilian tournament. Um, but Scardi loves this map. He's one of the best micro players uh, out there. And he's got his Uranus here. Probably would have liked to stay on Zeus or maybe go over to Hades here uh, to try and take out the Mosca Ra in this game. But he does have himself uh, the the Aranos, which does really, really well on this map against Ra anyway. So he's going to be happy with that one. And we'll see how he's going to go now. The thing is, though, that while the water is important here, what is more important is ensuring you prevent certain town centers from getting grabbed here as Uranos. It's very simple to do so. You just have to make sure you don't overcommit too much on the water and you keep a good eye on this town center. Uh, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say another option here for Uranos as we normally see Prometheus here. I've been saying this a lot because I actually think that Oceanus is um, a god that has some purpose. Not every single game for uh, for Scotty, but surely there's got to be at least 10% of the games that Oceanus is an option here. Now, Oceanus here for the water uh, gives a big, big boost on the water for the Uranus player to win uh, super early, whereas Prometheus only gives yourself those heroes out, which also can help on the water in a way to rush your opponent. So you have to ask your question, are you rushing your opponent with Prometheus here? Or are you going to be trying to fight more casually and leaving your oracles holding line of sight on town center? Uh, but we'll see how things are going to go here. It looks like Scardi is getting himself... Uh, the, I like this idea here, grabbing the boar out on this position here. Uh, but that might have set him back ever so slightly here at the start of the game in terms of the villager uh, gathering numbers or maybe the, the fishing ships coming out. But we'll see how he's going to go if he gets a nice clean 4 minute and 30 advance time or even a 4 minute advance time if that's what he wants to go for. Um, but we'll see how things are going to go as Mosca finishing up the uh, position over here. And the Oracle's moving around for Scardi. Obviously, Oranus is in Kronos, so going for that early game rush onto the docks is a little bit weaker because the Promethean takes a while to get over here. Uh, we also see Mosca doing something interesting here in the early game, utilizing that Priest to empower the dock instead of empowering the um, uh, these sorts of positions. What you could do here, technically speaking, is put the Lumber Camp here and then run the Priest over, dump all the fishing ships in at once, uh, and then you can get the pure advantage there. But that sort of micro is too much for my taste. But we'll see if uh, Mosca is going to be able to get himself a 4.30 advance time here. It looks like he's going to be a little bit late on this one unless he drops everything off. And it looks like he's not going to be doing that. Instead, going for a, a slightly later advance time, 4.45 here as Prometheus comes in. Only a couple of seconds behind here for Scardi as he needs to get himself a little bit of, uh, of wood now straight away to get himself the docks out. Does he go for three docks? Does he go for two docks? He does go through Prometheus, so unfortunately we don't get to see that. Oceanus. Oceanus is also a better late game god for Uranus because you get access to Bite of the Shark and Weightless Mace. These are two upgrades that I think a lot of players don't realize how good they are because um, Bite of the Shark actually impacts your fanatics as well, uh, which means getting an extra four DPS on those uh, fanatics versus everything with the exception of um, Axemen, because you get the bonus 100% damage as well. So two Bite of the Shark gives 100% bonus damage onto the... Actually, it's more than two. It's more than two damage. I can't remember. It gives a lot of bonus damage onto those fanatics. It's really, really strong. Nonetheless, maybe it is two. I think it's two. Anyways, more image of the village is coming up. Houses coming up around on this position as well. As the dock coming down here from Scardi. We do see Prometheus has come through. Barim's coming in as well for Scardi here to boot. As the Tar coming in for Mosca. And we'll see how things are going to go here. Does Mosca go for a town center? No, nope, he's just going for stock standard shenanigans here. Is Scardi pushing forward? And he's going to try and take out these fishing ships as best as he can. 
Three docks here for Scardi. He can't support all three of these docks right away, but as the game uh, continues, he will be able to eventually support them. So he doesn't have to think about it, having them up set up already. As Moscow garrisoning in, we see an armory thrown up already. We've got the uh, cabinet, or what are they called? Cabinets coming up on this position as well for Moscow. As Moscow pushes back out here as well. And just a little bit of uh, lull before the storm here as Moscow knows he's got all the time in the world. He doesn't need to fight this army. Stay, uh, we can just stay here and, and it's completely fine. We see Scardi just pushing in and out. I would love to see Scardi just putting one ship over here on passive stance, one ship over here on passive stance, and uh, and just hanging out on this position. This is a really simple way to cause problems. Moscow's also got a really, really nice map here with the double perch close to this dock. That's not 100% of the time going to be a possibility uh, for for these players as one cabinet does pop out there. And Moscow realizes, well, it's time to come out and uh, Scardi going to... Retreat back here. How many cabinets do we have here? It's 67 pop for Scardi to 60 pop for Moscow. So Scardi, he's got himself an advantage here in, sort of, in terms of boat numbers, but his units are slightly weaker here. Slightly weaker. So he has to be a little bit careful. Now you can push yourself in front a little bit with Oranos by getting yourself an early armory upgrade and getting yourself copper weapons and copper shields here to try and um, level the playing field because you do have more economy than your opponent um, and generally speaking once you get to about I would say 10 to 15 is your number where you want to get that armory down um, and then and then you can get yourself the upgrades uh, and as we can see here in this game Scotty hasn't used a single Valor just yet he could have used two Wait, potentially two carnivores already and be putting some red hot pressure on and also having a servant here. It really boggles the mind, Arano's players. Boggles the mind. <laughs> Unfortunately there, Scardi not keeping control of his uh, of his ship stay. He loses a, a fishing ship here as well, not paying attention on this one. Where are the Scardi ships coming? We do see Moscow reacting really, really quickly here as the ship's retreating away. And Scardi, is he going for a town center? No, he's pushing forward with some military units here, looking to put some pressure onto Moscow, onto the land here. This is a an interesting decision. We'll see if it's going to be working out for him as Ibrahim's putting pressure over here and a town center is coming down for Scardi. Scardi cannot defend these Ibrahim's. They do have speed. He's going to have to garrison into the town center there or into the docks there and at his town center have to start gathering food to continue his uh, village production there as the units are sitting on this position and Moscow has managed to really open up beautifully in this game against Scardi's Aranos here. He's playing this one at an insanely high level. The next move here for Moscow has to be to just get a town center. He can move over here and grab this one if he so chooses. He's got this nice gold mine over here as you do see some villagers getting pulled off of wood coming onto this gold. A nice wall here wouldn't go astray either as a handful of units are going to start moving forward. There's the Valor coming in as the Pharaoh and villagers moving forward onto this position to potentially put another dock down and look to grab this town center here. But Scardi knows that... He needs to hold that position, but he can't be... I mean, he probably could throw away the uh, the water here if he so chooses and put mass amounts of pressure on. As we do see the units coming through here, there is a shifting sands available, but the army or the villages of... Uh, the villages of Moscow have been caught out here as the pharaoh getting taken out and shifting sands comes through. Doesn't manage to go into the box. Snipes the pharaoh to boot there as Scardi, you're going to have to make a hero unit or something over here to take out that Wadget or wait for his own hero units to come in. Should take that Promethean out of his um, out of his control group there as well to move, make those units move a little bit quicker. As the Doc's trying to hold on to this spot here. And still pulling forward as we see the walls attempting to come up here. But Scardi sees the gold mine on this position. The question is, how many villagers can Scardi kill here? To level the, the level the game, the playing field because Scardi has lost his fish, so Moscow is up eleven villages, kind of not quite. Let's call it let's call it up nine villages here. So Scardi needs to clean up all of this stuff and and get some value here. As we see a town center coming down, Scardi is building citizen out of both of these town centers here. He is putting pressure on no buildings down the bottom of the map. There is a gold mine nice and close to this town center, so. Uh, Gold Starve is kind of out of the question unless Scardi can get sky passages on both sides of the map straight away. 
We'll see how things are going to go here. As the other thing is, Mosky can run straight for this town center as well if he wants to right now. And Scardia has got no knowledge of that here at the moment as the Bareems all pop out and Scardia is going to attempt to put some pressure back here onto, onto Mosca, who at the moment his gold income or his actual, in, his actual resource layout, not the best here. So he's not going to be able to rebuild these cabinets very quickly here. He needs to get his villages back onto wood. Great surprise attack here from Scardi to try and make it work. Boat numbers here, 18 for, um, for, for Scardi versus night. Well, 18 for Mosca. So it is an advantage Mosca here, but Mosca getting out migrated in a really, really big way at the moment. Uh, one thing, again, that Mosca can do as well is grab that Ford Town Center, get himself Shadoof, and hold here. Rain, and he's going to be in a good position as the army pushes ever so slightly forward here. Accident's starting to come out. This guy needs to be really thinking about this town center and holding this one. Uh, I, I wish he went for the forward town center here and center stuff forward onto this position as walls coming up on this bottom side to secure the gold mine as well. As those cabinets getting taken down there. And we'll see how things are going to go. As the Bareem's getting taken down. We'll see if, uh, if this can work out for... For Scardi, if he can act, well, he gets his fish back. So he's going to have to start those fishing ships as well. He's only got three fishing ships at the moment. Third town says are now coming up. Farms coming through for Mosca all around this town. And he also gets a nice granary down here to help make these four farms more efficient. And Scardi is going to see exactly what's happening. You're realizing, yep, it's time to just get fishing. He does get the fishing ships out uh, and getting himself that purse scene as well. Third town center on the way. The game is in a pretty close state here, but Mosca's got two down centers. He's got access to a large gold mine. The problem here is what can Scardi do to continue putting the pressure now that he's won the won the water? Town centers are in range of water as well, and he's got control of all of the town centers that are in range of water. So that's more that's mostly going to be bonus. For Mosca here because he can sneak over there as we do see a whole bunch of units pushing forward with the wadgets and Scardi not going to be able to hold it where is that sure I don't know why I guess he went for the idle military banner and he's moving everyone over here sky passage coming down onto the bottom side of the map here is there another sky passage elsewhere looks like the answer is no at the moment where are the villagers going Mosca what are you doing tell me the town center is back here Mosca's got the resources for it. It looks like Mosca is searching for a potential gold mine up here. He does spot it to get onto this position as the walls coming through here for, for um, Scardi as there's a couple of slingers here. Is that going to be enough? Mosca going to be able to go to that next age very, very shortly as the sky passage does get denied for the time being here as well. The barracks coming up. Units popping back here. Another sky passage over on this position to dart from one side to the other as the uh, villager is going to get sniped down here. No, it gets the sky passage up, but it does end up losing that one as the walls will get completed over here. Units pushing through, looking onto this position as well. Mosca gets up a barracks, claiming this position here. And he's gone through segment. I'd love to see a temple getting placed up here to immediately get that scarab to push in onto this position of Scardi. Scardi cleaning up the rest of those fishing ships. He still hasn't gotten all of his fishing spots back yet. I'm not sure why he's not doing that in this game. Armory is up. Pickaxe coming through as he's finally starting to get some economic upgrades here. There's a military barracks coming through. We do see the Sky Passage just about up here for Scardi, but he's only at 100 pop... Oh, well, that's Moscow. Moscow's at 100 population. Scardi's at 130, so he's taking these fights... Kind of nicely, but he needs to micro a little bit more over here. As the villagers trying to sneak through here. And this wadget is getting so much value here for Mosca. Mosca's actually going to be able to rush straight to that Mythic Age as well. Mikdos Stronghold on the front here as well. As the Valor comes through. And he's going to be able to win this fight for the time being here. Uh, but Scardi still not in that next age. Citadel coming through. 140 pop for Mosca at the moment. Only five pop behind Scardi. And another town center is coming in. So Mosca is going to have a huge advantage 
population wise coming very very shortly and Scotty needs to figure out how to push Mosca out of this game Mosca's got the the trade route sorted Scotty didn't put the pressure onto this town center instead trying to put do something down the bottom here and it's just not quite working out for him as the Mosca Scarab going to come through here and try and take out the Sky Passage. There were some heroes over here. Did they run into the... Maybe they... No, there's no heroes here. So the... Uh, oh, there they are. So the unit's going to come through here. Another Sky Passage is going to be getting started as the Scarab will get taken out. Still fishing ship. Build the fishing ships. You've got so many spots here. You can also put a dock here, get those spots. You can build a dock over here, get those spots. Scotty now at full population. He's kind of spread out all across the map. The problem is pushing this way doesn't really do much because there's three gold mines here for Mosca to grab. We do see a Sky Passage on this position to attacking this gold mine. It's going to be a possibility as the Siege Works coming up. Walls coming through here as well. Scotty is very much um, kind of getting stretched all across the map as the Sky Passage back up over here now scotty can pop back up onto this position here to try and defend the push that mosca is doing i'm surprised mosca didn't just rush straight to the mythic age here but he's going for some elephants as a unit's going to come over here for scotty scotty has got maybe full population i guess 25 uh citizen here seven fishing ships for those of you who don't know efficient fishing ships are the fastest food resource in the game I believe they gather faster than everything uh, population wise so if you've got three fishing ships or you've got three a uh, one citizen on farms the fishing ships gather faster when you have all your upgrades in obviously there's some more harassment coming through here Mosca does have himself that skin of the rhino as the barracks coming down here Scotty not slowing down in terms of his uh aggressive maneuvers here as a wall trying to come up but this is getting prevented by Mosca at this moment here the the Mamillo is still trying to push through here but Axman is such a good counter to the Arano's classical age here it's Promethean still coming through to try and push through but it looks like Mosca has managed to hold here for the time being and Scotty not going to be able to make it work here at the moment as the siege tower moves forward no Milo's coming through here as well for Scardi the Prometheans coming in as well citizens going to be retreating back There's a lot of military backs falling, the citizen retreating away. We'll see what's going to happen here as raids now coming on to Scardi. Scardi is in. Oh, he's only got 100 population. He doesn't have the economy here. And in that moment, Scardi does tap out. Your victor is Mosca. Best of five here. Mosca takes the dub. Really, really nice gameplay here from Mosca. I liked the, 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 the later advance time. And simply just garrisoning into those docks for that period of time so that Scardi has to take his time here. But Scardi went for something super weird here. He went for a second town center before he had an advantage on the water, which doesn't work. Just flat out doesn't work because what it means is your opponent pushes through, you lose all your fishing ship economy, meaning you can't support the citizens being trained there. And then your opponent then just goes, all right, now I've got the water control, I get the town center um, back and you've got the fishing ship economy to get your villagers out and you're just behind as the player who does that. Uh, what's a better idea is if you feel like you're not, you, well, if you want an advantage, get an armory, get your armory upgrades out and then take the fight with that extra economy that the Aranos player has here. But I think Scotty saw an opportunity to transition into the land to a while, in a way, but then he also went back onto the water and he didn't fish up the water in a big way either. So I'm just I'm just confused. Scotty a little bit out of sh out of sorts in this series and Mosca made him pay for it. Uh really really nice to see another really strong player uh making a finals here. Uh, he'll be in the winners finals, I believe. Uh, fighting someone. I'm not sure who's there. Maybe someone in the... Um, someone in the chat, potentially somebody who's in the finals. I'm not sure if that's the, the case or not, but... No. No one wants to tell me. 
Okay, we don't know. Anyways, uh, there is going to be some more games. Definitely check out the Brazilian uh, channels there to, uh, to check that one out. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next game.